Welcome back, and uh, as you can see here, I've got a huge Phillips Beast here to repair. An old uh, ghetto blaster from the 1980s. It contains what I think was called the CDM100 CD drive, which was one of the best they ever made, actually, as it goes. But uh, radio works, CD works, surprisingly enough, although they are known to keep plodding on forever. But uh, just look at these tape decks. Now all that swarf there is caused by these orange wheels just disintegrating their cop wheels. Thankfully they've got straight cut gear teeth so uh, it is possible every now and again to uh, replace them with a standard SADE equipment and as you can see there if I zoom in a little that one hasn't even got any teeth over most of the surface so uh, there you are and this affected everything from the humblest Walkman or shoebox cassette player right through to this sort of thing and even hi-fi equipment was uh, known to have this problem. Dr. Cassette, um, if you haven't seen him, his, his channel is well worth having a look at. Because it's amazing what he finds on the bins or dubbed and uh, what he comes across and what he manages to get going. But he had, not so long ago, a really nice stereo compact cassette recorder. Sort of thing probably that uh, somebody professional would have used, such as a, a journalist. And it looked really nice indeed, but you've guessed it. Red Leicester cheese gears, knackered, no good at all. And uh, unlike this system, which only has four duff gears in it, which are fairly easy to uh, replace, this thing, it had a sort of gear tower in it. And because the gear spins round a shaft, it was no use trying to uh, fabricate something out of something else because uh, it wouldn't do. So, despite its beautiful appearance, immaculate appearance, it was about as much use as an ashtray on a racehorse and ended up in his parts bid, or even the bid, I suspect. So, uh, there we are. I've already done up one of the speakers to this and they used to put in foam which disintegrated something terrible but uh, what I've done it's a bit cheeky really at our local B&M's which is our local cheap shop that uh, sells all sorts of funny things they had these place bats for a table <laughs> yes and they looked just right. They were acoustically transparent, had a bit of uh, chrome silver threaded there. And I thought, ah, yes, I could use those for uh, older audio equipment to replace material that's gone baggy. And in fact, there's a little sample there for you, you see. Anyway, <laughs> onwards and upwards. As usual, this poor old thing needs new heads, there's a groove through both. I suspect the usual will apply to the raise head, which is probably shot as well because they had a tendency to eat themselves. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, the good news is though that you can replace the heads. So uh, here goes, and see you in a little while. 